Hello, my old friend Terry. I was very, um, <laughs> I was very upset by uh, your distress about um, YouTube. It's not like it was before, and it's not like in the old days. And you're not getting many views, and you're unhappy about the whole thing. <laughs> well, my first thoughts was, <laughs> come on, Terry, that's life. Live with it. Uh, but. Um, I think perhaps I ought to be a bit more uh, uh, sympathetic uh, than that because, uh, yes, all of us old people, of course, we're not getting, uh, of course, we're not getting the views we used to because we're not top of the pile anymore. Um, I remember, I think, about three, three to four years ago that I was at an event and uh, Chad Hurley was very pleased that they were getting a hundred million uh, videos a day. Well, think what it is, uh, think what it is now, what, how they have, um, you know, grown in size. And I, most of the people on YouTube who either come to have a look or contribute, they're probably in the age group of somewhere between 11 and 15. Uh, and whilst it's nice that we can, in many instances, uh, you know, have some sort of uh, communication with the young people, um, they're never going to find, find us. They come to YouTube. Uh, uh, to look at the people who are now, um, you know, popular, just the same as they go to uh, music concerts and things where they have no real interest in the music, they probably can't hear it, but it's the place to be and the place to be for them uh, here on YouTube is uh, um, with the people who are presently at the top and of course like everything they won't stay at the top but they won't stay at the top forever uh, as they get older um, I mean why, why do people um, like them it isn't that they do something technical or brilliant or whatever I mean yes you have to commend them many of them do but it's because they're young and they're good looking and if they're boys the girls like to live in a fantasy world by um, ogling over good looking young men and vice versa I mean why in pop concerts do do uh, sort of girls and young women present themselves practically with no clothes on. It's nothing to do with their singing at all. So um, I think that's how the world is. And uh, as I say, um, live with it, as you might say. But of course, uh, it isn't very nice if once you were somewhere up on the front page uh, and now we're down on the bottom, but um, that's how life is. And I see it as something of an advantage because um, think of it, in the real world, how many of us have more than one or two friends who really care about us and would do anything for us? Um, I would think it's only a very very small part look at the look at the friends you have got on your channel who throw you know love and affection to you and that that's that's a great advantage because you don't have to sort of conform to you know to play the game anymore you don't have to uh, try to attract views by keeping them down to two or three minutes you don't have to put fancy titles on to attract people you have got a wonderful circle of uh, people who like you and love you and um, you can you could talk for 10 minutes and they'd still listen to you and enjoy your company. So I see it as a uh, always a great advantage. And um, um, <laughs> get over it. <laughs> OK, Terry, I was going to write you an email, but I thought maybe I could express my thoughts uh, a bit better <laughs> by talking to you. Um, I tell you what. If we get down to videos that we put up that only get less single figures, then <laughs> then we'll go. All right? Okay. Bye-bye. 
You got to be positive. You got to accentuate the positive. What you mean by that, man? You got to accentuate the positive feeling. Minus the negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got to spread joy up to the maximum. Bring gloom down to the minimum. Have faith or pandemonium liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate my last remark, Jonah in the well, no way in the eye. What did they do just when everything looked so dark? Man, they said you gotta accentuate the positive healing. Mind it the negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between, no.